Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris from PC Addicts. I want to show you another cool little utility I came across thanks to my new co-workers at my new job. Um, they all use it and it's pretty awesome. It is a screen capture tool or a screen shot tool or however you want to call it. It's like a Snagit uh, replacement, a free, free alternative. There we go. And it runs down here in your system tray. If you right click it, you can select some different options. Uh, region, last region, window, full screen, so on. There's a lot of preferences you can set here. Um, you can register hotkeys, whatever. You got uh, screenshot shot destination. I just have it open up in a in an image editor, its own image editor, and then I decide what I want to do with it. Um, you can copy to the clipboard automatically too. That's not a bad idea, but um, I'll show you there's an option for it in the editor. And there's some other settings. I max mine out in the, in the quality. Uh, let's see now what I want to do is let's say I want to take a uh, capture of yes I'm using Internet Explorer still go ahead and make fun of me it's okay I'm trying it out still um, let's say I want to capture a part of this site this wonderful site here okay so if I hit the print screen key I got some crosshairs now with the crosshairs with what those numbers represent right there in the middle of the crosshairs or the crosshair is the size of the box from here to the upper left corner. So if you're trying to figure out what size you know, your, your capture is going to be, you can kind of do that, but I don't really care about that. Let's say I want to just capture this. I click and drag, and it tells you the dimensions while you're dragging it, which is cool. Let's say I want to just do that right there. If I let it go, it opens up the image editor. And from here, you can, what I typically do is, depending on what I'm taking the, the capture for, um, let me go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. If I wanted to send in an email or something, you can just click the email option. It'll automatically pop it in there. Print it. Copy to clipboard is what I typically do. Um, or save it if I'm going to be doing something else. Uh, also, what's cool is you could do you know, your highlighter thing. Highlight that area there. Uh, line thickness. You could tell it you want the line a little bit thicker or none at all. Um, also, you can make some boxes and other stuff and then of course the famous arrow uh, like that and other junk but anyways and I guess you can crop it I haven't tried this let's try cropping it hit enter oh, there we go just like Photoshop all right so and I think it's a really cool free option um, I, I've used snag it I think it's actually a little bit I like it better than snag it um, I used to use snapshot which was cool because it automatically uploads it to your FTP server that you choose and then also copies the URL link to your clipboard. Um, that's not this green shot utility, it is, that is Snapshot. And that is cool for different reasons, but um, I don't have that running at the moment, as you can see. So um, there you go, green shot. I will post a link down below.